The world population is increasing exponentially, and there are too many people to rely on natural methods of making food for most of us. So we are forced to rely on industrial techniques. 100 years ago, farm animals were allowed to roam freely until they were used for food. But now, in factory farms, animals are kept in small cages indoors. The factory animals are kept and killed inhumanely. After hatching, male chicks are killed immediately, but the female ones are kept to produce eggs and are killed 42 days after, when they've gained so much weight so quickly that they're suffering. The chickens are kept in very small cages, barely big enough for the chicken to fit. The cages are stacked on top of each other, and the chicken's poop falls on the chicken beneath them. The chicken's beaks are also cut to prevent them from pecking each other since they're so close. When it's time for the chickens to be slaughtered, they're hung upside down and their throats are cut. Next, they are put into boiling water and their feathers are plucked. However, sometimes the chickens are not fully dead before they are put into the boiling water, so they're suffering during the process. Similarly, when cows are killed, Sometimes they're not stunned correctly before their throats are cut, which causes them to suffer unnecessarily. Even before dairy cows are killed, they suffer because of the process we use for milking in factory farms. The cows are never taken off the milking device. This continual suction on the udders causes bleeding and infection, which causes blood and pus to get into the milk. This is one reason why the milk is pasteurized. Since so many people drink milk and eat so much meat, there is a need for many cows. This huge amount of cows creates a lot of manure, which releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, and this cow manure releases the biggest amount, even more than car pollution, which accelerates global warming. The unsanitary conditions in factory farms make it necessary for cows and chickens to take a large number of antibiotics. These antibiotics are preventing them from getting sick, but they're causing the bacteria to mutate and become stronger and the medicine may not be able to keep up. These antibiotics are ingested by us through the animal's meat. This leads to superbugs that are difficult to treat with normal antibiotics. You're not only consuming chemicals from your meat, but also from your crops. Traditionally, Crops are treated with pesticides and herbicides so that they remain healthy. Recently, organic foods have been a way for people to avoid these chemicals. But organic foods may not be as safe as you think. Some farmers don't spray their crops while they're being grown, but after they're cut, they spray the crops with chemicals to keep them fresh. These crops are considered to be organically grown. Some people are also fooled by the label of free-range chickens. They think that these chickens go wherever they want, but actually, the chickens are kept inside for most of their life. And then, in the last couple days, they're given the option to go outside. Since the chicken is used to being inside, it doesn't have the desire to go outside. Also, the outdoor enclosure is very small. Corn is the only food source for these chickens, and a major crop grown in the U.S. Corn byproducts are found in everything, even though corn doesn't have a high nutritional value. Instead of growing all this corn for food, we should be creating corn ethanol from it. This corn ethanol is used to make biofuels, which is a better alternative to fossil fuels. The standard method of using fossil fuels as fuel pollutes the environment. Biofuels are a renewable energy source, unlike fossil fuels. To help the environment, support your local farmers and try to grow as much of your own food as possible. We should try to limit our use of factory farmed meat to prevent the suffering of these animals. Antibiotics used in factory farming and chemicals used on crops not only end up in your food but also in the environment. This not only negatively affects you but also harms our planet. Relying less on factory farming can let us use corn for making biofuels instead of for animal feed. Biofuels will also help our planet by reducing pollution.